Hello, and today we're playing Thanatos, but not in any normal game mode. We're playing in the best game mode, Arcade Mode. One day, this will be back as the permanent 3v3 mode, and then we can do some real competitive tournaments with this 3v3 Arcade Mode. Now, with that being said, we're here playing Thanatos today, and on our team, we have a Ymir and Zeus. On the enemy team, we have a Sun, Wukong, a Sol, and a King, Arthur. Now, this is Oddball. The rules are very simple. Hold the Oddball, which is that little crown that the Ymir has. The longer you hold it, the more points you gain. And if you knock people out of the arena, you add points to your total score up to 80 points. Now, with that being said, the Ymir is doing a fantastic job and the Sol just falls straight through. I'm doing a pretty good job. Thanatos is one of my mains currently right now, trying to peel for Ymir as best as possible. I don't know what's going on with that Sol right now, if she's disconnecting or having some issues. Now, one of the things I noticed while I've been playing arcade mode, there are a lot of new players here and Oddball is one of the things I think they're learning is the most sweaty game mode in Divine Naka, which is really funny. This Wukong is doing a very good job. Oh, that Sol Fire Blast. Thankfully, I was able to survive. So I'm going to use my mobility here. I also have my ultimate. Ymir is doing such a fantastic job holding it. Oh, he's coming in here. So I'm going to go in for my ultimate. You saw exactly what Ymir did. He uses Ice Breath, the sidestepping, and I use my ultimate to grab Wukong in the tiger form so I could eliminate him or at least peel for my ally. That right there is really good. So I just watched the Ymir's name. His name is Meow the Penguin. That's that's a hilarious name. What is the best name you've heard in Divine Knockout currently? It seems like these two are struggling. We just need nine more points and they haven't been able to hit Ymir yet. So, oh no, they actually got the oddball from him. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay, King Arthur gets eliminated. I'm going to try my best to get it. and I'm going to avoid myself right here and I'm just going to kite around and we have three more points. There is a trick with oddball, which I'm hoping to showcase in one of my videos this week when it comes to arcade mode. Look at that. You saw how we got the windscreen and then all the Amir did was the booty slam. That's a nice little outro animation right there. But yes, there is a certain technique you can use with oddball when you're at three to four points and you need to make sure you secure it and I'll teach you guys that later on in this video or maybe another video so obviously I chose coin blitz because it was the best and thankfully that was what was selected so we're here in crumbling keep the most devastating map to fight on for certain game modes and all we have to do with this mode with coin blitz is simply collect the coins and deposit them in that chest now when you eliminate an enemy you get seven coins added to your total wallet and if you get eliminated you're not really helping out your team so you need to try your best to hold on to your coins because as you're getting hit, coins are being dropped. Now, I will say for this game mode, a very good character is probably Ymir and Zeus. Zeus and Ymir very well excel in arcade mode. Oh no, my partner down there, Zeus is struggling with Saul. Saul is doing a fantastic job as well as we are trying to collect coins here. You know what? This Wukong keeps dodging through out of all my stuff right now. I think it's really nice. He just dodged again. And there's the little raccoon guy swinging around his little tail. So I'm going to collect as much coins and head to depositing since nobody's really focusing on that right now. As you can see, the deposit is going on, which is perfect right there. Now, if you're Hercules in this game mode and you use your ultimate while you have coins on the chest, you will be able to keep depositing. That's why when I go with the serious business Hercules on this, I call it the tax collector. It just fits so right. We're coming there. The IRS is coming. Thankfully, I didn't get knocked out there. I do have my ultimate. Also, what I just realized, I'm not using the correct build. What I mean by that is I made a specific build for this called the undying build for Thanatos, where basically you can't die when you're playing Thanatos in 3v3 mode. I switched it because I was playing him in 1v1 and 2v2 earlier, so I need to remind myself to switch it back. Now, with that being said right now, I want to bring something to everybody's attention, and that is the fact that the Immortal Challenge is something I created for 3v3 mode. I have two videos on it, I believe, and you know what? I think I should make another one. What the challenge basically states is you can play any character in the Vine Knockout in 3v3 mode. Your goal is to win all the rounds without dying once. Now, that is a very hard and tall order to do. If you ever partake, however, I would love to hear how it went for you, what character you did it with, and if you have it recorded, please send it to me. I would love to. I do have one immortal challenge I'm actually needing to do that a fan actually sent in. So when I get the time, I will do that. So right there, you saw me get eliminated with the Sol, which I kind of was hoping wouldn't happen. Your mirror has a lot of coins. Everybody there has a lot of coins, it seems. My ultimate is down. My ultimate is not the best for this specific map, in my personal opinion, or this game mode. Because in this game mode, what really excels is ultimates that can knock and hit all the enemies in the area. So for example, Zeus's ultimate, Ymir's ultimate, Sol's ultimate, really effective. And there we go, finally getting the last of the coins in, and I'm super happy about that. Let's see what the next... So just to make this clear, this is a new game mode because I don't know what happened in the last 3v3 mode. It ended after two victories. I think the enemy team either quit or, you know, the server broke the game. Who knows? But I've been seeing a lot of players quit lately, so I don't know. 
So with that being said, we're in a new game mode doing coin looks on Carmel and Keep, which is actually really insane. It feels like deja vu, I know, but it's not. And on my team, we have another Ymir and a Susano. On the enemy team, however, we have a Loki this time, Amaterasu, and a Zeus. So we're hoping that we're going to come victorious here. Loki is such an annoying character to play on this map, as well as Amaterasu. Simply for the fact that they're able to maneuver around so well, collect coins, and just dodge out of everything you do. It's just ridiculous, especially Loki's ultimate. When you drop it on that center when everybody has coins, that explosive back can do so much damage and knockout, it's insane. So with that being said, we need to collect some coins because we're not too far ahead of our enemy team right now. And the Amaterasu gets eliminated by the Susano, which was really nice. And look at that perfect frost spread. By the way, if you notice who's playing Ymir, it is Jarvis himself, the greatest Ymir player currently. And look at that. He's going in for that fun game times right there. And we're going to try our best to keep... Oh, no, I get hit with the dagger and I get knocked out again. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to stay here, collect some coins. I do have my ultimate if needed. I may have to use it. I'm going to try to get it on... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened there? And I used my ultimate at the worst time. And there you saw the Loki ultimate just exploding and knocking me back off. They're doing such a great job. But as you can see, Jarvis is just freezing everybody and collecting coins. That's what he does best as your mayor. And he's probably going to suicide somebody into oblivion. And as you can see, Amaterasu gets knocked out. I do finally get the scythe off on the Loki, who's been such a very good trickster. Got the healing off right there, knocking back the Zeus. And it's getting very intense. I couldn't get the heavy attack, but Jarvis knocks Loki out of the arena fully. Which means Jarvis has a lot of coins in his wallet right now. I use my ultimate at the perfect time to avoid the Amaterasu from doing any damage to me. Now we're just going to keep collecting some coins. That Zeus is in some massive knockout range. Perfect interrupt, so I got some heals, and I eliminated from there, depositing coins in my wallet. Now, I have 28 coins. I'm going to try to deposit as much as possible, and as soon as I enter the platform, the Loki comes out and does so much damage to me, knocking me back. I still need to be careful. I was able to bring down my vulnerability down a lot. However, I do need to bring it down more, see if I can get some healing, dodging out there, and I do get some more healing, bringing me back to 83%. That was a perfect Susano ultimate, catching all of those enemies right there. Now, we just have to deposit. We're getting ourselves up. Both teams are actually pretty close, which is interesting. Thing. It was such a high pace, high engaging action combat in the center here where the chest is. I do get hit and staggered by the boat, but because I'm in the center and this is our first round victory right there. Jarvis and that Susano ensured we got that victory. I did have coins which I deposited. However, at the same time, I was being knocked back so much. I only really started to deposit right at the end of that matchup. So we're going to go for oddball right here. And as you can see, Jarvis and Zeus picks king of the hill. What are we going to land on for this round? We're going to get oddball the sweatiest round ever. And we're getting it on this map. It's really weird. It's very indicative of the first round we did or first game of 3v3 arcade mode with Thanatos. It's just the total opposite. Okay, so as you can see there, Zeus has it. Zeus, in my opinion, is the best oddball carrier in the game. Saul is a close second. Each map and each game mode seems to have a tier list of champions that really do excel. Look at him. He's doing what I love to do. Stay up on these little spinning rings so you don't really get hit that often. Hitting back to Amaterasu. We're going to try my best to hit her off a little bit right here. I do get my scythe. See if I can get this interrupt to heal up. And I don't as she uses her air light air heavy to move on to the center platform. Loki, however, is very high. And they're headed for my buddy Jarvis over there. I missed my hold heavy. Let me see. Can I get... Oh, no, no, no. Don't get hit there. Oh, I almost avoided it. Loki's ultimate in three through when you're stacked up is insane as you're seeing the oddball is being dropped all over yes we're ahead in the points but that doesn't mean diddly squad why i say that because they've been many times where i have come back from a 90 point deficit and found a way to win i grabbed the loki this is his elimination and as you can see here i do have my oddball right now so the thing is because i use my ultimate i was not able to gain any points while it's active however i can hold on to it and as you can see i no longer can use my mobility so i'm waiting for my partners to peel for me the best they can i know loki's invisible don't know where he is and jarvis puts up that nice wall oh no zeus goes straight up right there uses his ultimate and it's the best ultimate in my opinion to ensure that nobody can pick up the oddball but your teammates simply because he's going to be landing all of his lightning bolts on the crown Oh, look at how he kited around. That was actually really good. I missed Zeus, but I do hit him there. Even though he interrupts me, I tried to get the oddball, but it was unavailable to me. Jarvis collected it, and it's going to fall, I think. Yes, it does fall, and we're just going to have to peel right now. I do get hit with Loki's ultimate, and that's actually deadly. I do have my mobility, so I'm going to use it to re-engage on the platform. We're at 70 points. Oh, sorry, Susano. As you can see, I got Amaterasu and knocked her out of that center point. That's okay. 
coming in there to use a scythe and I missed as nobody was really in my range. Man, I'm really enjoying doing commentary. Commentary is such a great hobby of mine. Now, as you can see, the low key is high vulnerability. I'm hitting them with some light attacks to buy myself time, going into the ultimate, and I catch low key perfectly, even though the oddball is dropped. Oh no, I still have it. Okay, I still have it. I wasn't sure I recollected it, I guess, in the moment of the ultimate. Dodging through there, get hit by that. Uh, it, it stattered me out, but I was able to get the crown back again, healing up. I think I can hold it for about 10 more points. If necessary, I'll... Oh, no. Zeus does have his ultimate up, so Jarvis collects it right there. I use my mobility to re-engage, allowing me to avoid Zeus's knockback potential. Oh, Jarvis is doing the technique. He's literally staying off the map when there was a couple more points needed so he can get it, and they can't do anything about it. All he has to do is be able to survive off the map long enough, though. So that's why certain characters are really good at that. Now, with that being said here, we're going to go in... Oh, I guess we're both getting king of the hill so it's which king of the hill map is it going to be swing king swamps is a probably better one i i think i got that name wrong but that's okay. oh no we got this map up here it's okay all right so in this map up we're playing king of the hill it's pretty simple all we got to do is hold the center points that start to glow and when you knock people out you add five points to your bonus score until you reach around 80 points and then you have to hold the center now with this team i will say we're doing such a fantastic job but the enemy team i really enjoy fighting against them currently because of how engaging they are they are super aggressive and knocking us back as you can see the colors for the center is changing so often and so much nobody's really getting a time to hold it much we're really knocking them back however I'm the only one that's not super high vulnerability, which is pretty good, I would say, in my personal opinion. Hold heavy attack, but Susano's little tornado keeps them up in the sky, coming in with the sight, but it was too late. As you can clearly see, Ymir was getting those knockbacks. Jarvis is knocking them back. All three of them are in purple. I'm going to see if I can get a knockback. Zeus didn't come back on on time, but let's see. What can I do? Zeus does get eliminated, giving me a point and our team a point. We're at 44 44 points, sorry, right now. Let me see if I can interrupt the Amaterasu. No, they're hitting her back as a next opening has come out for the team. So we need to go to the little center point over there and that little spinning off the edge ground, I, I guess. I don't know. I was mixing up my words there. But as you can see, can I get the Loki here? Perfect. Dark Vader choke right here. Going to eliminate him out. You just seeing that vulnerability and healing up coming for me. We're at 62 points right now. We're doing a fantastic job. Now, as you can see, we're going to spin around here just to show off a little bit. We're doing it all day today. Now, as you can see, if you do see me in this game mode, please leave a nice little GG with your emote. I would really appreciate it. Now, I'm staying on there while those two are peeling as best as possible. Hold heavy attack. Perfectly timed. Knocking them back just far enough. Can I get it again? No, I get hit with the heavenly strike. But that's okay. Going to re-engage here. I do engage, hitting off the Loki and the Zeus. Coming in with the interrupt. It does not work, but the light attacks do into the sight. Ooh, that, that was all planned. That right there was all planned. Not even a hint of mistakes right there. Now, honestly, though, I, I wasn't sure I would have made it right there. That was big bad on my part. Now, this center point has closed. Where is the next one? It is somewhere on the other side, I believe. So that's where we are headed. Yes, it is on the second rotating surface. Now, we just need to get it. We need seven more points. However, understand it's not over yet till the fat lady sings simply because I've been in so many modes where things have changed around. I'm gonna grab somebody. Oh, we got the victory, GG.